Are we ready to go? Okay. 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 Hey folks, Tim here, FT Lot for the love of trains. Welcome back. Um, this is going to be kind of a not necessarily uh, Helix Construction number three. Well, let's say I'll mix it in with Helix Construction number three and uh, layout update, just to show you some of the things I've been working on. So um, let's get right to it, and we'll make this quick. All right, so um, I've been working on the top level here, and I've been adding more, as you can see. I got a bunch more of the top level done. And those uh, support posts on the front side, um, about every four feet is where I'm putting them, except for these two right here on this transition piece. They're a little closer. But otherwise, they're about every four feet. Um, and then I'm working my way back around into that corner down here for the helix, which I'll show you that progress next. Okay, so without further ado, I can't get this all in, but I've got all the way up to the last, um, the last basically quarter section here. Um, the helix will go to about right here. Uh oh, there's a cat invading. Anyways, um, that's Ann. And um, the helix, like I said, it's 33 inch radius and um, 31 and a half inch radius. There's four inches, four and a half inches between um, railhead to railhead. So that gives me just a shade over 2% grade. And like I said, this is going to continue to about right in this area right in here and then it will swing out and come around and attach up to this upper level over here so um, we'll get a train going up in there just so you can see what it's like okay I'm gonna have uh, three SD60s um, pulling my coal train which is quite possibly going to be my longest train that I would have. Um, so that would be a real good uh, size wise uh, in the Helix. Um, obviously I know these SD60s, these are Proto 2000 SD60s and they pull like just wow, they're massive and they're awesome and uh, they really don't have any trouble whatsoever in the helix so I'm gonna pull up on the actually I'm gonna pull up on the inside loop of the helix which will be a little bit tighter uh, grade which will be closer to like 2.1 2.2 um, normally I'll probably run up the outside but just for this I wanted to pull it up the inside just to see how it works a couple of things while we're waiting I got a couple of these um, oh cars here with the uh, loads, lumber loads on them. Somebody was selling these used at the hobby shop and the straps were all busted but I fixed them all up and re-glued them back together and they look pretty nice. So got a nice set for the for the layout. So alright we're heading to the helix. Okay so I'm running at um, Speed step 20 with my Digitrack system. And I've had to jump her over because the, the Helix is going to be on the upper level system, so um, I had to use some clips, as you can see up here, to jump her the track power from down back there. Otherwise, the helix at this point is isolated from the bottom level. Remember, I'm going to run that 
power wise along with the top section so and to make this go a lot faster I'll probably just speed this section up a little bit just to get you the gist of it going up here Okay, so that was it going on up. Uh, like I said, it's gonna go up just a little bit further than that and then kind of spit out and continue grade around this corner up until it gets level with the rest of this upper deck and works its way around. So, that's pretty much what I've got so far to date and I just wanted to give a quick update so um, I'll keep working on it uh, keep working on this top upper deck and complete this helix and then we'll be able to start working on the track ideas for the top side um, got lots of ideas in my head and a couple things down on paper now now it's just a matter of uh, cutting some stuff out some cardboard templates and just kind of seeing how it's going to look up there and seeing if it's going to work real well. But uh, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. The Helix was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't totally easy, but um, it was still fun nonetheless. So uh, thanks again for subscribing and watching my videos. If you have questions, please uh, post them, uh, comments, whatever. Uh, otherwise, um, as always, until the next time, 